Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. November college visits kick off next week, so get your calendar ready for these dates. Remember, you do need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. On Tuesday, November 6th, the University of Wyoming reps will be here followed by Luther College on Wednesday, November 7th. The following week, on November 13th, the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here. And then on the 15th, the reps from UCCS are scheduled to visit us. After Thanksgiving, visit with the reps from Adam State Grizzlies, who will be here with us on November 29th. Students, have you ever wondered what Discovery High School is all about, but were too afraid to ask? Do you think that a smaller classroom environment might suit you better to be successful in school? Are you behind on credits and need to catch up? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you should attend the Discovery High School information session on Thursday, November 8th during advisory. Check in at the Counseling Center for your pass to attend this event. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Before we head to the sports desk, we'd like to take a moment to congratulate 38 of our best and brightest WHS students who were inducted to the National Honor Society on Monday night, including our very own Spencer Walter and Corinne McAfee. Congratulations to everyone. And speaking of Corinne McAfee, here she is with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our football team has had a challenging season this year, but they've kept their good wits about them. The final game of the season is this Friday when the Coronado Cougars travel here for a game at 7 p.m. Come out and support our football team. And thanks, Glads, for your hard work this season. Best of luck to our mighty Gladiator marching band. They are headed to the U.S. Air Force Academy on Friday to compete in the state quarterfinals. If you can go out to support them, they would appreciate it. Our forensics team has had a great start to their season. They are headed to Woodland Park for a meet called Bring Home the Gnome. Good luck to the forensics team. We hope you bring home the gnome to Widefield High School. Our winter season sports practices for basketball, wrestling, and girls swimming start on November 12th. If you are planning to try out and then play, you need to pick up your sports packet with your physical form in the main office. When you return your packet, you will receive your yellow participation card. If you already had a physical on file, you can pick up your yellow cards now in the main office. Do not wait until the last minute to turn in your paperwork and get your card because if you do, you will not be allowed to practice. If you missed the wrestling meeting on Tuesday, check in with Coach Walker in the Counseling Center for details and information. In basketball news, the boys basketball preseason camp starts tomorrow from 3 o'clock to 5.15 p.m. in Bowers Gym. If you're interested in trying out for the team, come out and sharpen your skills. Glads, sign ups for the Gents Training Volleyball Tournament started this week and will run until Friday. The cost to enter your team is just $5 and the games start on November 5th in the small gym. If you want to watch the games, you can save yourself some money by bringing in a canned good. Otherwise, a dollar will get you in to watch the fun per day or you can buy a pass for the week for only $3. And finally, because there may be an abundance of Halloween treats in your future, Mr. Damon has a tip on how to balance our diets. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health. Today is a tip about Halloween. I know you guys are going to be getting lots of candy. Just want to encourage you to make healthy decisions. Make sure you eat nutritious meals so that candy is not the only thing you're putting on your belly. As well as don't take candy from strangers. See you guys. Have a good time. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Corinne McAfee. Go out and support your Gladiator Sports teams this week. Now back to Spencer and Jeremiah for more news. Thanks for the update, Corinne. The Drama Department proudly presents Dracula, the fall play. Show dates are November 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults. Come out and support your Gladiac. And while we're getting dramatic, auditions for Little Women, the spring musical, will be held on November 13th and 14th after school in the auditorium. Sign-up sheets are posted outside the theater and choir. When you sign up, remember to select a monologue and a song from the list provided to prepare you for your audition. If you have any 
questions or need more details, please see Miss Caps or Mr. Life. Hey Glads, your pink federal aid forms were due on October 11th and our attendance secretaries, Mrs. Kawakami and Mrs. Malone, are waiting on you to return your signed copies. Remember, these forms are critical to our school's funding. Bring your completed form to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. And now here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, as the second quarter gets started, are you struggling in a class? Need help writing better papers? Or maybe, just maybe, you need to brush up on your study skills for tests? Then you should make an appointment for a tutoring session. NHS students are offering tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for a time and pick up a pass. Finish the semester stronger than you started? See you then. Glad you still have time to order your yearbook before the price goes up in November. You can order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55. Students, today is the last day to check out a book and enter the scary book giveaway in the library. Remember, all you have to do is check out a book any book, and you may win a prize. Our new club called PIVA, the Positivity and Visual Arts Group, is selling ghost pops today. 50 cents will get you a small treat for you, your boo, or your crew. Get yours at lunch. Attention, Power Club members. You will have a meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 130. If you cannot make it, please see Mrs. Sardania for the details. Attention, Gladiator Tabletop members. There will not be a meeting today after school. The club will meet again on November 7th. See Mr. Bergen or Mr. Nell for additional details. Students, if you ever wanted to use all that useless information in your head, today's your day. Get your three-person team to the small gym at lunch for the Freshman Council Trivia Contest. It's only one dollar to enter your team and the top three teams will win prizes. Seniors, Herf Jones is coming back this Friday to take your cap and gown orders as well as orders for your class rings and graduation announcements. All orders must be placed by Thanksgiving. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. Remember to set your clocks back one hour on Saturday night as daylight saving time ends. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of the week.